Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and today I'm doing a player breakdown of Sadiq Charles, uh, why I think he can be a really good starting left tackle in this league, and why I think he can be one of the steals of this draft. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content, so let's get right into it. So the Redskins drafted Sadiq Charles uh, in the fourth round with the 108th overall pick in the draft, and he really was a first to second round talent but fell due to off the field issues and I'm also going to uh I'm going to be doing a player overview and then some film on him. So he went to LSU as a 3-year starter at LSU, which is very good and very hard to do. Uh is a was a junior last year so played as a freshman, sophomore and junior and helped LSU win a national championship last year and helped block for Joe Burrow and uh Clyde uh Edwards Hilaire. So he blocked for some very good players and helped them get drafted early. And I think if he was not, if not for the off the field issues, he would have been drafted in the second or first round. But he is six foot four, 321 pounds. But really, uh, he was about played at around 295 during the season, but uh, got uh, heavier for the combine because a lot of people said that was his weakness. Uh, one fun fact, Chase Young said Sadiq Charles was the hardest player he had to face, so that is good. And so as a freshman, he played in 13 games, um, nine at left tackle, and then he played one at right tackle and one at right guard. So he has positional versatility. Um, as a sophomore, played 10 games at left tackle, and then he had uh, he missed three games due to injury. And as a junior, he played nine games at left tackle and was suspended six games for um, a drug-related issue. So, and last year played really good, uh, especially against Georgia. His worst film was against Alabama, but I think he played really good last year. Obviously, the big red flag is the um, six-game suspension, especially at LSU. I think, but I really think that Ron Rivera can uh, control him and get him to be. Um, a good player with no off the field issues would be, and I think if he does that, I think Sadiq Charles will be a steal this um, for us. So I'm going to give some strengths and weaknesses for Sadiq Charles. So strengths, he has very good feet, very fast feet. Um, he can play uh, pretty much anywhere on the offensive line. Like I said, as a um, freshman, he played right tackle, right guard, and left tackle. So he can play in a lot of different places on the field. Um, uh, he has great reaction and good awareness. He has good football IQ. So he's a pretty smart player, and he's very young. So he has a very high ceiling. He's only played, he's really only been in the game for like four or five years. Uh, he picked it up late, at least for offensive line, offensive line-wise. And one thing that I think is really getting overlooked, I really think that... Uh, Sadiq Charles will get so much better after going up against Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, um, Matt Ionis, all those guys in practice every single day. He's going to get used to blocking against them, and I think that's going to get him a lot better and a lot more prepared when he's going up against these pass rushers um, in the actual game. It's going to be uh, pretty easy for him, especially... Uh, after going up against Chase Young or Montez Sweat or whoever he's going up against in practice. So I think that's going to help him develop a lot. Uh, another pro, it's, I mean, um, it's not that much of a pro, but he blocked for Darius Geis as a freshman. So it's good that they those two have chemistry and also he has the chemistry with Thaddeus Moss. So I like that. And I think that is an underrated factor of him that he blocked for Darius Geis. So they'll be on the same page. And he also is has very good mobility. He is very fast. Um, and I think uh, the only concern about that is that he did pack on about 25 pounds for the combine. So let's see if he can still be very mobile with that weight um, gain. But I really think that he's a super athletic player that has a really high ceiling. So um, he, now going on to his weaknesses, he needs to get stronger. Um, he is not a very strong player. You can see in his film a lot. Sometimes he gets absolutely bodied um, by other defensive ends that are stronger than him, especially um, against higher competition, um, especially his core strength needs to get better. 
he is I th- he is going to work on that, and I think um, getting into the NFL is going to help him with that. Um, he's just going to, a lot of people are going to be telling him to do that, and I think he's going to get stronger, and I think he knows that. That's kind of why he packed on that weight for the combat. I think he's aware of that as one of his weaknesses, so I do think that he will end up um, getting a lot stronger. Um, his hands aren't that great, and his anchor is easy to compromise by bull rushes. So that's pretty much it for his weaknesses. He has a couple others, but I'm going to be, um, now we're going to look at some film. Obviously, um, I'm not a scout, so I don't know that much about offensive line, but um, I'm going to tell you what uh, I think. Uh, and we're only going to watch about two minutes of this. So let's go ahead and, um, sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and watch. So this is just um, Russia. So you see there, he, um, that's a good block, and he it wasn't very successful, but it still um, got the edge rusher down for a bit, and he got um, the receiver the ball. And then right here, he's that is an example of him being pretty strong, but this edge rusher is not very big, so that's why he you see uh, for in the next minute or so you see that he. Um, does pretty well against this guy because he's pretty small, so it's easy to go up against him. But later on, you see that uh, against a bigger guy, he gets bodied. But right here, does perfect. Good feet, good strength right there, good core strength, and um, allows for Clyde's Edwards Elaire to get um, a good rush. Right here, you see he's going up against number seven right here. Another, he is an edge rusher, but he's pretty small too. So you see, um, does it again. Another successful block. Um, really didn't affect the play, but it was a good block. Um, now he's going up against a bigger rusher. Um, does pretty good, but also because he's um, they're double teaming him, so really almost impossible to fail that block. Right here, you see him uh, going up against number seven again. Good feet, good quick feet, good strength right there. Good hands allows. Uh, Joe Burrow to have a clean pocket to throw to Jamar Chase um, right there. So now going on to the next um, play, going up against number seven right there. You see how he pushes him in really good play right here, allows Joe Burrow to get into this hole right here to get a possible uh, positive yard gain. Um, not much right there, but I really think that was a good block by Sadiq Charles. And you see him here against um, number seven again. Okay, this was the play I was going to talk about. Not against number seven, but against a bigger guy. You see what happens to him? He just absolutely does not have his feet set, sorry. And he gets absolutely bodied right here um, by this guy. You see, you, he just gets, at, and it didn't affect the play much, but look at where. Uh, the defender is, and look at where Sadiq Charles is. He just manhandled him. Um, I, I want to go back to this because this is just like um, crazy. I mean, he is a little confused. There's no one to block, but then once he has someone to block, um, I'm trying to slow it down for him. And 73 is there to help a bit, but he just gets absolute, like right here, he doesn't really have his feet set, and he just gets, he, the guy barely even pushes him, and he's six, seven yards away. So that's something he needs to work on is his core strength, especially against bigger guys, stronger guys. When he was going up against number seven, really didn't have to worry about it because um, uh, he's a smaller guy. And it resulted in a negative uh, play or definitely a potential negative play right here. Um, he kind of he gets lucky right here, but he kind of slips, doesn't have um, he can't, he doesn't slip necessarily, but uh, the guy out muscles him and gets by him right there. You see that he just absolutely manhandles him, but it really didn't affect the play because Sadiq Charles got him at the end. So that wasn't really his, uh, it could have ended up really badly, but, uh, it ended up fine. I want to keep, I want to go back to it real quick. You see he gets, but by the time he got past him, it was fine. And Sadiq Charles got him at the end. He got him down. So I think that was fine. Right here, you see him um, right there. Um, got him in the end zone. Pretty good block right there. Right here, you see him really doesn't have to block anyone uh, besides seven. And by the time he, uh, seven gets to him, Joe Burrow has already thrown the ball. So 
if you want to look at him against better competition, I mean, obviously, um, Florida is good, but uh, he played against Alabama and really didn't have a great game, and that was against better pass rushers, so I'd watch that, but that's copyright, so I couldn't um, watch it for you guys. You see him here again. He's going up against um, a bigger guy here and actually does pretty good. Um, he keeps him in control. Um, sorry about that. He keeps him in control the whole time. And um, even though it's a bigger guy and really helps uh, Joe Bro out, except for at the end, um, uh, he kind of bought him, uh, him a lot of time. But at the end, he kind of let him go. And it really didn't affect the play because Joe Bro was already down. But, um, yeah, right here, didn't have to block anyone at all. So we're going to watch a few more plays, and then that'll be it for the video. But um, right there, really physical, decent run blocker, does everything perfectly, and gets the runner a few yards because of that. But, yeah, really big and physical. And you also see he's lining up to next to Moss in a few plays. So, um that was a very weak punch by um, Sadiq Charles to try to get him off. You see what he does right here. It's against a bigger guy, um, and he tries to slap him off, like I said, a punch, but really doesn't do much. That was a very weak punch um, and let the guy get right past. You see that right there? He got a little bit of separation um, of the pass rusher, but then he, he kind of wasn't ready for him again, and he got right past him. And got, you see number 92, who is Sadiq Charles' guy, um, he got close to Joe Burrow, and it was a positive play for LSU, but it was not a good play by Sadiq Charles, and it could it could have ended in a sack um, and a negative play because of Sadiq Charles' block there. So that was not a good play by Sadiq Charles. Watch one more here. This one um, is pretty good. Keeps him in check and um, is really strong. That one, this is an example of his core being strong, uh, allowing Joe Burrow to have a lot of time in the pocket. And yeah, pretty good. Um, I think, like I said, just those small things, I really think um, he needs to get his core stronger and some of his, um, his punches when he's trying to get um, the edge rusher off of him. I think he's going to struggle a little bit with bigger edge rushers, but I think that'll come with time. He's going to eventually be really good, and I think this guy has very good uh, potential. He um, played at LSU three-year starters, very young, very high ceiling, and I think he could end up being a Pro Bowl tackle for us in the future, and I honestly think he can start this year. Yes, it would be good to have someone like Jason Peters or someone to mentor him, but I really think that he's going to end up starting this year. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. I also started channel memberships, so if you can, join the crew. I will leave a link in the description and in the comments for that. Uh, it helps out a ton. So again, thank you guys and peace.